Hello, welcome. My name is Tracy. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in Australia. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's Tuesday, so it's Case the Catalogue Day, and I have a really great project um, that we are casing today. It is straight from the Celebration Catalogue, and it's on page 11. It's using the stamp set Home to Roost, so I'm just going to bring in the catalogue. If you're unfamiliar with uh, what Celebration um, is all about, this is a free catalogue, so everything in here is for free. Now, in Australia, it's a $90 spend. You get to choose one free item. So for every $90, you choose one item, except there's two exceptions in here, which um, there is a framelet set and also a stamp set that is a $180 spend. So to get those two items, you have to spend $180 to, to choose that one as your free item. Okay, so our card today is from page 11, choosing the Home to Roost stamp set. I'm bringing that stamp set in. So for $90, you can choose this one as your free item. And the card that we're making is this gorgeous one just here using the Tranquil Tide. So let's bring that card in. This is actually a really fun card. I've loved um, that we're using Designer Series paper in the background here and just coloring it slightly. So let's get over the craft table and we'll get started. The supplies for this card are the Home to Roost stamp set. This is a six piece Kling stamp set. Kling are the new stamp sets that they've brought out with um, very sticky um, adhesive labels. So this is one here. I'm just gonna pull this back. These ones really stick really well to your acrylic block. So they've changed the sticky labels that we attach to our red rubber stamps. The, the stamp is still exactly the same. It's just the adhesive back sticker. We also have some Memento Tuxedo Black ink, as well as Soft Suede ink. We have the Wood Textures Design Series paper. This has around, been around for quite a while. It's in the annual catalog still. It's six by six um, paper pack, and it's absolutely gorgeous designs in there. We have the Tin Tile uh, embossing folder, which is a really thick embossing folder. We also have some watercolour pencils. So we have the Daffodil Delight, Basic Grey, Pumpkin Pie, Bermuda Bay, Early Espresso, Basic Black and Old Olive. So we're using these to colour in our background and the rooster stamp. Now this is my kit and I have all the measurements and supplies for my kit over on my blog which is linked in the description of this video. Uh, please check that out. There's also a link to my online store where you can purchase all your Stamping Up supplies. I would love to be your demonstrator and if you are purchasing through me please use that hostess code and I can send you out a free gift. So we have Tranquil Tide card base and I'm just going to, I've already scored that card base. I'm just going to make sure that it's nice and burnished. We have a piece of Tranquil Tide that we are going to be embossing with. We have a piece of the Designer Series uh, paper that wood textures. A piece of very vanilla and a piece of the soft suede. What we're going to do first is we're going to stamp that rooster. I'm also going to bring in that mat and we're using the Tuxedo Memento Black Ink. Let's just ink that rooster up. And we're going to fussy cut him once I've coloured him in, so anywhere in that middle is going to be fine. Now while I let that dry, I'm just going to move that to the side. Let's bring in the Designer Series paper. And we're also going to bring in the Bermuda Bay watering watercolour pencil. And all I'm going to do is making sure it's got a nice uh, good tip on there. We're just going to run that colour. Just to bring that colour in just slightly so it's not so white. And you could do this with any colour. It's great to um, add just that little bit extra. And up the top we want it a little bit darker, like the sky. 
and then coming down lighter. like that. While we're still waiting for that one, I think that'll be dry, but let's bring in those reeds and also the soft also the soft suede. And I'm just going to quickly stamp those reeds in the background. And you're going to want them at different lengths. So some are a bit taller, some are a bit shorter. Reeds don't grow all one length, so that's really good. And we've also made it um, so it's quite thick bush in the background. While we have the ink pad out with the soft suede, let's bring in the sentiment and we can do that one as well. So we'll ink, thanks for your friendship up. There we go. And that's it for our stamping. So I'm going to just move those two to the side. Let's start coloring in that rooster. Now one that I didn't say is we're going to also need the real red uh, watercolor pencil as well. So we're going to color in that top bit in the real red. And also the bottom. And do his face in that orange just lightly, just to distinguish from the two colors. Then we're going to start off with yellow. Now with this one, I've gone yellow, orange, and then brown. So we're going to sort of um, blend the colors together. I'm going to go down a little way. I can bring in the orange. And these watercolour pencils, they're really good quality. And they work really well. I'm just bringing some of that orange into the yellow as well. I'm just going to run a little bit of red just down on that very end bit. So I've got a bit of colour from everything. And all his body's just in the brown. So uh, I'm not the best at blending or watercolouring or anything. I just work it to how I like it. Definitely not an expert here. Okay, just gonna add a little bit of darker shading of the brown in as well, just like that. And I'm also gonna do just along the ground there. Bringing in a little bit of the green. You don't have to put the green in if you don't want, you don't have to. Okay, so his tail is going to be in the basic grey, and I'm just going to loosely colour that in. When I'm using the black, I'm going to really use those highlighting it at the bottom there. So nothing overly special there, anyone could do this. But what makes it really good is the Winker Stella. So let's go in and I'm going to um, do a color by color and just wiping that color off on a bit of uh, spare paper because you will pick up the colors as you go. So let's start with the red. 
getting rid of that color. Now going from the orange, sorry, the yellow to the orange, I'm not too worried about. I'm not gonna go back into the yellow too much because I really don't wanna bring that orange and red in too much. Okay. And then down into the brown. Making sure I don't take that brown too much into that other color. But what it what the Winker Stella does too is it mixes and gives it a really nice consistency to the pencil, the shading. And lastly, his tail feathers. And not only that, it gives it a beautiful sparkle. This sort of finishes the whole rooster off. Let's see whether you can see that. Not sure that's coming up. There we go. You can see that sparkle. I'm gonna fussy cut him out quickly and then we're gonna bring the big shot in. So I have a question for you all. If you've placed an order during celebration time, what have you chosen as your free item? I'd love to know what you've, what you've decided is the must have. And even if you haven't placed an order and you've seen the catalog, what is it that you would buy? Like what would you choose as your free item? Trying to stamp out the busiest times of the year, the old celebration. Really great deals. There is our little rooster. So I have my big shot. Because it's the big embossing folder, we're going to, I've opened up uh, the big shot. I've opened up the big shot completely. I'm going to place my piece of tranquil tide into the embossing folder. So just in the middle there like that. Now with the large ones you only need one cutting plate. So I'm going to get rid of one of the cutting plates, pop this one on top and I'm going to run this one through. So all you need is your bottom base plate, your embossing folder and then one cutting plate. Run that one through. And this tin tile is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Really, really pretty. Okay, so we're finished with this. Let's get rid of it. It's just a matter of popping it all together now. So let's just work on the card front. I'm going to glue our design series paper straight down onto the tin tile mat. I'm just using the Tombow Mono Glue. Let's pop him down in the middle. Popping our rooster up, so I'm going to bring in some mini dimensionals. I'm going to place some of them around. One more. 
take all the backings off and we'll place that rooster straight down. Making sure that we've got enough room for our sentiment. And what I might do is I might just bring in the soft suede again. I'm going to stamp one up quite a bit higher. Okay. And then he'll be covered, but you can still see that. still be covered but you can still see the reeds in the background so let's pop him down there this one I'm going to stick some tear and tape on the back because we're going to place uh, some linen thread down so just in the middle, take the backing off. Quite a few kinks in that, so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we fold this over. I think I did it about six times, so let's do that. like that. Just cut him off and we're going to cut all the ends so they're loose. I believe in the catalogue they've used, let's just see, braided linen thread so just here linen trim. Um, I don't have that but I have plenty of this so that's what I've used. Just going to place that in the middle there, just like that. And that holds that all there. And let's pop it up with some few dimensionals. Three should be enough, I think. And with that card base, it's just going to be popped up on top of that. So let's put some more dimensionals on. I've got my edge pieces here, so let's use them. One in the middle. Placing that down in the middle, that just gives that little bit of a pop up. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed today's car. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment. If you live in Australia and you don't have a demonstrator and you'd like to purchase your Stamping Up supplies through me, I would love to be a demonstrator. Now I have some really good rewards that I've just started up over on my blog so go and check that out. It's in the description of this video and you can look at the um, tab that says um, rewards. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed today's card and I hope to see you here very soon on Thursday. Okay, bye.